Hello, welcome to Mimi's Keepsakes. I'm Marnell and I am here today with a organization uh, video slash uh, part of the hashtag journal jigsaw or garden story hosted by Angela Kerr and um, Rach from Rach and Bella Crafts. So I found this tray about a week ago when I was in the thrift store and I think and maybe correct me if I'm wrong this tray might have been for your coffee table for maybe things like your remotes and stuff because it has all these little compartments um, in the tray and then this bigger piece and then one small uh, one long skinny compartment so what I've done is I have decided to buy this as a project tray I am still busy organizing my craft room but I still want to make some videos and I found that every time I take stuff out for a new video my craft room is a mess again so I'm going to be working on the this journal for at least the next couple of weeks. So I thought it's worth um, maybe putting stuff together that I want to use and repeat in the journal. So I'll show you what I have in here and I might keep adding as I'm deck um, organizing because I keep finding stuff. I was just looking here in this little tray and I think this would be perfect for this journal too so it's going in there and actually that too oh okay <laughs> we'll add that to the mix anyway so what I did was I have some fabrics here laces and ribbons this is just kind of odds and ends it's a big washi that I want to use and some twine that I thought will work for tag toppers some sprays so I don't even have to get up if I want to spray something I could even add my inks in here but the inks are just sitting here right in front of me if you watched the video about how I organized my recording table so I'm not going to add the inks I have little things just around me here like paper clips and brads and eyelets I didn't add that stuff in here because it's sitting on my table but the thing that I would normally pull um, from other parts of my craft room, that's what I thought needs to come in here. And then also things that I've already finished making, as that sometimes get lost in all the shuffling, you know, moving stuff around. Um, the other thing I have in here is at the moment my papers, the book I want to use as my cover, and just little odds and ends. So let's just go through everything I have in the tray. Eventually I would like to uh, paint this tray white just because everything in my craft room is white. I think the reason why they got rid of this was this stain here. Something must have spilled something maybe like acetone. Um, but at the moment that doesn't bother me. It's all good. So what I have in here is I'll start with the book that I want to use as my book cover. I have to build up the spine, but that's um, just a nice cover color for what I have. I have a plastic bag with all the scraps and misprints from the kit that I've already started using if you watch some of the other videos. Then in here I have, um, let's see, I have uh, this is turmeric dyed paper this I don't think this is in my shop but this was ro red rose petal um, that I dyed this paper with and it turned out this green color it looks way darker um, on the screen or maybe lighter I don't know uh, but it's a perfect green with the kit. There's more turmeric paper. What else do I have in here dye paper wise? Let's see. And I haven't even finished fussy cutting yet. 
that is the same thing turmeric paper and then I have this kind of crazy paper that I dyed with inks this is the uh, blue purple cabbage dyed papers and then I have this kind of green paper that I dyed yesterday this is not in my shop but I thought I needed more green papers and then this blue paint lace dyed paper and a green one this one is torn but i can use it for other things yes so that and then the papers the double-sided papers that i want to use and some ledger paper in there and my kit and i'll add some book pages as well so i have to start working on that soon and then i've added some postage stamps as you know I love using postage stamps so I added some postage stamps that I think the colors will go with the paper I've added some embroidery floss because I do want to do some hand sewing in this um, journal and I wanted to remember to do that so I had thought I'll add that in some washi tape and just some little flowers on this side I have the I have some what is this um, save save this check that I can decorate and then some of the tags and journaling cards that we made from the master board I think on Saturday and I also added some finished ephemera in here that I think will go with the kit I'm not sure if I'll add that in and if I'll just stick to the kit, but I thought it might just help to make it look... Oh, sorry, that must have been very loud. Um, more eclectic. Then, like I say, I have some sprays in here. The tall washi tape. Some... Um, I think this is a thicker crochet thread for tag toppers and then in here I have let me see I have some seam binding uh, lace this one has a yellow little rose on there I love that and then this little piece that I just got out of there some dark blue lace or real blue lace sorry silk more lace lace and then I also have some baby rickrack, green sari silk, and then a little green velvet ribbon. And then in here I just added some fabrics that I think will work with the kit. I'm not sure about this one. This one has pink in it. The kit doesn't have any pink in it. So that one might not work, but we'll see. So this is the tray kind of unloaded so you can just see all the compartments in here which makes it perfect but if you don't have a tray like this or you don't have a handy husband you can always just use a regular tray and just add little plastic or glass containers for all your things it's just something that's easy to move from one spot to the other I think I've oh I don't have it here like my husband made me a tray for my um, recording um, table and if I showed it in the video where I did redid my recording table um, that I can lift up when I'm working so if you have something like that or just a regular coffee or tea tray would be fine plastic baskets anything just something big enough so you can just put everything in one spot lift it and put it away and this I will probably put on the top of my cart or just next to me on the table when I'm making my journal I just think it's a nice way to keep everything together and not because I don't know about you guys but I tend to bring out 
almost everything in my craft room when I start making a journal. Like anything that can possibly go in the journal, I will bring out. And then I feel after a while overwhelmed with all the options that I've given myself. So I think this way I will um, contain myself to just a couple of things and not a thousand and see how this goes and if this works for me. I'm just going to put everything back again and um, maybe we'll make decorate though some of those tags and embellishments that I made on Saturday and I'll have the tray next to me so that we can use what's in the tray and see how this works. So I'm going to be back in the middle minute. I'm just going to move all of this to the side so I have room and um, bring in some things to embellish these tags and journaling cards with. Let me grab them and see what we can do and kind of just start getting a feel for the journal. I have everything here and I also found while I was um, going to get my um, fussy cut pieces I found these two napkins that would work with this kit as well. So like I said I'll just as I'm organizing and looking for things I'll just keep adding and I'm so sorry but my cat is here again and she is want to go outside but she can't go outside so she might be meowing and complaining the whole time and I hope she doesn't. Where am I going to put this? Anyway, let's see what we can decorate first. Let's cut these excess people pieces off. This is from the master board that I made on Saturday. If you, I'll try to remember to link that video. We did both sides of the master board. Oh, and the other thing I did bring in my tray quickly to show you. So I, my husband made me two of these trays and that might be something else that you might want to consider. So this would also give you enough space to add stuff and then just lift and put away um, or leave on your table which whatever works for you but I usually would lift this up sorry for the noise um, when I'm not recording or when I'm doing maybe I'm doing this journal and then I want to record let's say a slow stitch journal I just lift all of this up put it on my other table and then do the next one so I always have a spot and it's clean and then when I want to come back and, and record another video about the journal I'll just bring the tray in with everything in it and so now I'll just put this tray on top of this and move it to the other table so anyway that is the plan. I'll let you know if this works. I'm going to bring you up a little closer. So let's start decorating. This one I need to do something because I have cut the tag shape but the little bird and the pots are all on their head. I should have done it this way. I could always cut it off there and then cut it back but <clears throat> let's see what we can do about this. I have started cutting out some of the um, fussy cut pieces. There's a lot of them. I'll obviously have to put something behind this to make it less um, busy. Or I'm thinking I could always add a little bit of um, just gesso or but I have the 
just have to shake it a little bit the um, white acrylic paint right here just gonna put a couple of drops there I don't want too much just want to mute the background a little bit and it will also give it a bit of um, texture put that back um, so let's add maybe some book page I'm just gonna take my glue book page here why not I just want to it's a shame to cover that cute birdie but just need to take that further into the background and then maybe I can see what I can add to this Well, there is some pink in the kit, but very little. These are all smaller pieces. Let's see if I can find something a little bigger. And I'm thinking that yellow flower on the tag. It's fuzzy cut. this out yeah, I haven't finished my fussy cutting yet but <laughs> I was working on a Rachel Roxy creation their slow stitch the um, the Josef and I did so many seed stitches that I my hand and my arm has been sore uh, for the past two days <laughs> so even this I can feel it but I've rested my hand for a couple of days so I still need to work on that as well and finish that up there's always a ton of things to do uh, the other thing that I'm grateful for today is that the neighbor hasn't started on his um, renovating project next across the road. It is quiet today and I am so happy when uh, I was waiting uh, to hear if he'll start up today. but. Fingers crossed he has a different job to do today and he won't be making a lot of noise. Okay, let's see, I was thinking I always struggle to just begin with a new journal. I don't know, let me know if you have the same problem. It's just a matter of getting into the kit and just, just wondering if I should take a bigger piece of um, getting into the kit and start to feel kind of comfortable with it. I don't know how to put it any other way. Let me know if that is a thing for you to No, you can't go outside. don't know if you can hear the cat, but oh my goodness, she is so unhappy inside. She's used to going outside, so this is really hard for her because all the birds are chirping outside and it is nice and sunny outside so she obviously i'm just looking if there's any little tag well this is on the bottom of that one i can pretend this is a label 
Anyway, she wants to go outside. The birds are chirping outside. She wants to go see what all the fuss is about. And she can't because there's a very busy street just outside the fence. Now we need room again. Just outside the fence and I don't want her to run across the road and maybe not make it back. I'm wondering if I should maybe add This is Angela's background papers. I have mixed mine in together so that I'm not even thinking about whose is whom, you know, which belongs to which kit. Okay, we'll do that. I might just want to let me just get a couple of pages for the glue page and let's see what do I have here. This is frayed burlap and I think this is a very juicy no it's okay. I'm just wanna add a little bit of ink here. I don't think I'm going to add too much inking and distressing and vintage because I am um, doing the bright and cheerful kind of version of the kit. If you haven't watched Rachel and Angela's videos yet, I did link them to my other videos, but I'll link them again explaining what we're doing. So she is they are doing like a grungy and a bright and cheerful garden journal like more a uh, vintagey version of a garden journal anyway um, let's start gluing and as I say, when I start with a journal, I like to usually do a master board, snippet roll, something like that, just to kind of get into the feeling of the, especially if it's totally a themed, you're just using one kit like this. Well, these are two kits, but you know what I mean, very almost curated kit. I don't know how to call it anything else, but it's wonderful that you don't have to think everything is done for you because everything goes together. Um, but sometimes that can be a challenge as well because I haven't been making a lot of ephemera lately. I think the last one I did was most probably the ephemeramber because after that I started organizing. So I kind of feel a bit of like I'm feeling a little rusty. Okay, let's do this one. And then do we want a ruffle or something on the bottom or maybe just something on the top? I might just add a little, a little piece of this just here. That is a little crazy. We don't want it to look brand new, but then not too crazy either. It has to be just right. 
Um, I've watched a couple of the videos that I want to um, make some of the things that they've made. Um, Rachel made this vellum little booklet that I really liked. And um, uh, Ruby and Pearl Heather made a beautiful like a hidden journaling spot that was very cute too so yes i need to catch up on the videos i haven't watched everything yet but we'll i'll get there and <laughs> try still organizing so we'll be doing i thought i don't want to overwhelm you with just organizing videos so if you're enjoying the organizing videos let me know and I can continue um, editing them because a lot of them have, I've already film recorded. Oh my goodness, I honestly I hate doing eyelets on camera because I kind of have to get my head in there to see where the eyelet needs to go. And I can't do that when I'm recording because um, you don't want to see my head. <laughs> um, where's that cute yarn? These, I think Duke sent me these. Definitely the green one. I'm not sure about the blue one. But let's... Um, make a little topper for my tag and um, I usually I do the top tag tag toppers when I am putting the tags in my journal but this year I want to do them as I go because I find that then a lot of times I just don't do tag toppers I just put the tags in because by the time I'm done with my journal I'm just done and I just want to kind of move on to the next thing so I am going to try to put the tag toppers in as I go let's uh, see how far we get with that this one I, I like that so I'm not sure I'll, what I'll do with this one Let's see this one. What can we do with this one? Um, these are all very small, but I could add this to it. I also need to get my couple of tap tap punches. So I want to kind of add it over that because that is distracting if you ask me. Um, Let's see what else we have here. This is the ephemera kit, and I suppose again I didn't. Oh, this is not part of the kit. Again, I didn't watch what I was doing when I was printing, so everything printed double sided, which is kind of annoying. But that was my mistake, nobody else's. Okay, so I have, th these are actually bigger and there are, s there's some pink in here. So I might use that. Um, I haven't even backed these with, there's a cute, puppy running that you can also um, these are bigger too and of course butterflies I should bring 
cut out some butterflies with a kit. Oh, I think this was Angela's page. I love that. Oh, there's some bigger butterflies. And again, these were, I printed them upside down. Like the flowers are this way and the, again, not paying attention. And then you're, well, at least now I have a lot of scrap papers that I can use. Okay, let's see what we can do for this one. Um, I don't that butterflies will blend into much. I was thinking this just because it's totally contrasting with that. The blue in the background. And this one is Rach and Bella Crafts. Uh, she did send us a link, like a link tree link, and then if you click on it, it will take you to the schedule, who's doing what, with all the prompts. So I will again try to remember to link that as well. If you want to maybe print out the, the schedule or just do um, you know just follow along then that might be a good option I'm wondering if I should bring in more green and do I have any green in my I thought I had some green sorry silk there I do I actually would have liked if the sorry silk was ironed. Maybe that's something I should do when I'm done here. Just iron some of it. This is not the right blue. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Maybe I will add a little bit more green on here. I just feel like this is more green. The background is very blue, and maybe I want to bring the green out instead of the pink on this. No, I don't think I want to add something else. Okay. Let's glue this on here. Um, I'm going to put the fabric tag on the paper and not the fabric because then it doesn't seep into the fabric and make marks on the fabric I'm just looking at this one do I want to add that maybe just in the background because it's fairly neutral stuff up again yeah I do like that but this still needs some <laughs> glue Glue stick. Oh, 
glue page page oh my goodness I hate when this glue does this but it's just the paper that cuts the glue stick it's nothing it's not the glue stick that's actually maybe I will just cut this that is the salvage end of the fabric and just um, see if I can get this I should have torn this a little less perfect and I'll put it on the blue <laughs> just feels like there's so much sunlight coming in I'm not complaining about that but um, I feel almost feel like I should um, Let's see if we want to add, I'm thinking, okay, I need to finish up because it sounds like the neighbor is starting up his machine next door. And there's a little bit of yellow to brighten it up. Very almost orangey yellow. This one, as I don't want to see the banana or whatever that is, but it just brings out the yellow there. I think that one's better, so I'm going to glue it on like that. Let me use this blob and then put it on an old glue page. Okay, let's get my glue gun and I need a new glue stick. I don't know, this glue stick might be too big for the gun because I can't get it to push through. It's almost like it's stuck there. Okay, maybe we won't do glue gun. We'll do fabric deck. And I just want to kind of ruffle up the sorry silk. Oh, there, got it closed up. Now I have glue on my fingers. Okay, we'll start here and just it doesn't wouldn't dry as fast as the glue gun would have, but I'm pretty sure I can make this work because my glue gun does not want to. I have a little glue stick stuck in my glue gun that I think is, you know, the glue stick is too big for my glue gun. We can still make this work. It will just take a little longer to dry, which is okay. Need a little bit more glue. Yeah, he's definitely getting ready to work again today. some of that fabric flat just when I put it in pockets it will not get caught on the edge of the pocket okay so I think <laughs> I wanted to do way more today than I did but I think I should um, stop before he um, start uh, starts up the big Scoopy engine thing. I don't know what you call it, but it is a lot of noise, especially once you start dropping stuff in the 
in the big truck to drive the rubble away from the um, garage that they um, demolished. So these are the two tags we made decorated today and then we did the um, tray. So um, I hope you find that helpful. Um, I know it's a little shorter the video. I was planning on doing way more of these tags but maybe once I get into this journal a little bit more I I'll feel more um, inspired and get a direction of what I want to do. But thank you for joining me today. Please um, like and subscribe and let me know what you think about my project tray that I accidentally found at the thrift store. I am very happy with it so far but I'll keep you updated and let you know if it actually works and if it's just you know sometimes you organize things or you think something will work and then it just doesn't work at all so anyway we will I will let you know how it goes thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day bye